OMG BBG! What's up all you amazing BBGs? We finally got our Chozy Valkyrie from Beyblade Burst Chozy. Uh, so I find that this name is kind of redundant, but it's a super hype bay because, oh my god guys, this bay is pretty much invincible. Uh, it has some amazing invincibility gimmicks on here. You pretty much will never be able to burst this. It's a super strong bay and the attack motion that you get from the driver is just like... And insane. Yeah, this is crazy how they have a mode called Invincible Mode. Dude, it's sick. It's, dude, it's supposed to be a burst bay. Like, you're supposed to burst. Um, okay, I was gonna open it up right now, but I'm a little too hyped up. I gotta show you the back of the box first before I do that, obviously. Like, this bay is like, burst no more. Exactly. You were going backwards, like back to Metal Fight. Alright guys, so let's take a look at the back of the box. We got our Chozy Valkyrie Lair. We have our new Zenith Disc, which is kind of like a frame and disc uh, combo. Um, and then the Evolution Driver that kind of looks like the Variable Driver from Victory Valkyrie. And the color scheme, it reminds me of the older versions too, so super hype. And then going down, this talks about the gimmick um, in pretty much that Invincible mode that uh, Steven was talking about. So blades, these rubber blades will come out, the wings, and it gets so hard to burst if you launch it really hard. So let's get to the unboxing. I just want to see this bay in action. We all do. We all do. Oh, and then, okay, okay, one last time. No, one last time. Before I actually open it, look at this graph. Look at this graph, guys. It just blew <laughs> it, it, up. It just, poof, this is what dude. beyond the yeah, graph. Exactly. So the crazy thing about this bay, like, there is this burst resistance plastic piece that's on the back of the layer. It's similar to the one that you guys have seen in uh, Revive Phoenix as well. Um, so it takes advantage of like that same tech on there and helps it uh, not burst. Dude, they should rename the series. <laughs> Beyblade <laughs> At this burst, point. no burst. <laughs> yeah, Beyblade unburstable. No, just kidding, guys. Like there is, there are still lots of opportunity for the Beyblade to burst. So um, we just gotta battle it hard. Exactly. If you put up a Chozy Valkyrie against another Chozy Valkyrie, I'm sure you're gonna see some burst. Okay. All right. So now, if you guys are this far into like the Beyblade Burst Super Z series and you don't have that many bays. And you're thinking, huh, should I get a winning Valkyrie? Maybe you should skip the winning Valkyrie and just go straight for the Chozy Valkyrie. Okay, here are all the parts, guys. Oh my lord. As soon as I take out the layer, I'm like, what is this? Look how thick this layer is. <laughs> Look how thick this layer. Oh my god. I'm like, it's like Kukulkin times two. Yeah, dude, Kukulkin <laughs> was a tick bay, and now this is like, yo. Tickamus Prime. <laughs> like, this is dude, blue. Dude, it's so <laughs> sick. Oh my god. This is crazy. Dude, uh, look at it from the top too. Not only is it thick, this. it's wide. Dude, it's, it's so wide. So nice. Holy, this is like a really well made layer. It looks amazing. Translucent, uh, translucent uh, frame in the back here. Well, plastic, I mean. Dude, this is so amazing. Okay. Oh, dude, Zenith What's disc oh. built together. Frame and disc in one. Look at these blades. Now, of course, the metal blades probably won't make that much contact with your opposing Beyblade, but look at these jagged edges here. A little bit of rubber too, hard rubber. Wow, this is sick. Such an amazing design. Yeah, huge burst power, I'm sure, I'm assuming. Okay, and then of course, evolution. Oh, okay, guys, stickers first, then let's put the Beyblade together and we'll show you everything, actually. Getting too ahead right? of ourselves. Dude, dude, I do, I'm just jumping the gun here. Okay, stickers first, let's go, let's go. Sticker time. Okay, stickers are on. Look how beautiful this Beyblade is, guys. Oh, it has that original color from Victory Valkyrie. That's what it reminds me of anyways. Um, just super thick layer. It's insane, honestly. So each wing, the red wing, has like a spring that you can actually see from the outside here. Spring loaded. And it's so hard to actually like get the wings out. But you can pull a little bit and they'll pop out just like that. And that's why you have to launch this Bay very hard for these wings to pop out and at that point you guys can probably see from there when this wing pops out look at that stopper right there look at that guys this is pretty much like your invincible mode because you have a blocker so your disc will never slide past like that point and then there you go OP never burst ever again um, but of course like once your wings retract right if it gets knocked back inside then there you go like then you can still get bursted. Now, what are the chances of you actually getting bursted though? Probably real slim. 
So let's keep on moving over. I think we pretty much already talked about the disc, guys, because I jumped the gun already. But amazing looking shape. Look at this. Look at these blades. A hard rubber frame, pretty much. Um, lots of gaps, so you know other opponent bays can actually get stuck between the gaps. You know, get sent flying, so it could do some pretty major damage. Um, the evolution driver, though, this guy's looking sick. So very reminiscent of the actual variable driver from uh, Victory Valkyrie, but redid. Has like an outer wall here. There's like four outer wall pillars on the outside, um, and it looks a little bit more concentrated the hard rubber uh, teeth at the bottom. Yeah, I think you're gonna get a lot more control from this. Yeah, so when it wears out, of course, like since it's not as wide, you can control it a little bit better. Um, it'll be very interesting to see because, man, we haven't used a variable driver in a long time. So wearing this down would be really fun. Enough talking, let's put the bait together. I wanna weigh it too, because I'm curious to see how much this bait weighs. It doesn't actually have that much metal on it, because if you look at the layer, you got a few pieces. But there's been so many other bays with way more metal on it, right? Like, look at Dead Hades. It's got so much metal. Okay, so let's weigh the entire Beyblade first. 52. Nice. So it is on the heavier side. And just to compare, guys, here's a winning Valkyrie. Or Wonder Valtriac. 43. So 9 gram difference. So, dude, 52 grams. Oh, heavier than our Dead Hades. And Dead Hades was already really heavy. Weigh the lair doesn't have much plastic. 21. Dude, I just can't get over how wide the layer and disc is. Yeah, and how thick it is, it's crazy. So pretty much the same weight as Dead Hades. A little bit lighter, but it looks like it has a lot less metal on it. Cause look how thick this is, guys. I can't get over it. It's insane. It does make sense though, like you're gonna have to have a wider or thicker layer if you're gonna hide blades and wings like that, right? Inside, putting the Beyblade together. We're gonna launch this bad boy. And by the way, the teeth, not too bad at all. If you use a uh, dash driver, unburstable. Okay, here is a Zephyr dash driver. <laughs> Good luck bursting this bay ever again. <laughs> we'll find a bay that will burst you. <laughs> oh, that was so tight. I I actually have to use quite a bit of strength just to remove it if you're just gripping onto the driver. Time to do a test launch. The brand new Chozy Valkyrie. Look how thick this is. Oh. So amazing. Three, two, one, go. Oh, how big it is around the stadium. Holy! I can't tell. Are the wings out? Did I launch hard enough? Maybe I didn't launch hard enough. A good way to find out. Let's stop it really quickly. And just see if the uh, wings popped out. Oh, the wings didn't pop out. I have to launch harder, guys. Making me do it. Sword launcher time. Three, two, one, go. There you go. See it now? <laughs> yeah, now you can actually see the red that's on the outside. Now they're all popping out for sure. So that time I launched hard enough. I want to wear it out in actual battle because I'm going to keep on launching it in the stadium. And it's going to wear out and it won't even be battling yet. Make it but more like a, a rubber look, flat. There you go. So the wings are out this time because I actually launched hard enough. And of course, during battle here, they'll get knocked back in, right? Is spring loaded, hit it hard enough, yeah. a lock back. But the most important one is this one right here on the left side of the bay. This wing, if that one stays open, then you see right there the stopper will still be active. Wow. So you can knock back in these other wings, but look, I'm still like pretty much invincible, <laughs> right? So you're gonna have to hit this wing. There you go. And so then you gotta you can start make sure me. you launch like super hard. It's really sad actually because <laughs> opponent Beyblades have to go through these these red wings first before they can actually start unlocking you <laughs> and then even then if you're using like a dash driver you're gonna be so hard to burst guys this Beyblade's too OP wow it's too OP for a stock wow. bay wow wow okay guys don't like don't even bother with Wonder Valtriac and winning Valkyrie if you're gonna buy one Valkyrie bait from Super Z just get this one dude I'm right? impressed impressed or are you just like mind blown by like how OP this is and that every other bait is just gonna be like 
Yo, rest in peace. Dude, remember when Beyblade Burst first was revealed? I was like, huh. Dude. I wonder if they're gonna put some kind of control where you can like do burst battle versus non-burst battles. Yeah, um, and this you're... is kind of like the Switch that we're looking for. <laughs> this is not even the Switch. It's like impossible now. You have no choice anymore. <laughs> not gonna burst anymore. You can give somebody a handicap by just like, uh, oh, I'll unlock my. Um, yeah, I just won't launch it very here. hard. It won't <laughs> launch it very hard, and then it won't activate. But a little too OP for the previous phase, but uh, whatever. Because now they're just gonna make every other bay like this, and then it'll be fair again, right? <laughs> so, yeah, stay tuned because we're obviously going to be battling this crazy bay with other bays um, and then maybe even a Generations Marathon battle. Um, see which Valkyrie's the best, and I think the answer is very obvious already. <laughs> no, watch, we're going to see first watch gen. First gen, again. first gen pre dual layer is going to take out uh, this Chosey Valkyrie. Uh, but yeah, guys, so stay tuned, subscribe, like the video, um, and let us know what you guys want to see next, okay? And as always, Geek Soap.